Welcome to the Peptide Podcast. We're talking about the peptide information you need to know to start your week in less than five minutes. Today, we'll talk about a question I get asked a lot. Is it safe to take metformin with semaglutide? The short answer, it depends. But before we dive into how taking metformin and semaglutide together may affect you, I'd like to go over why someone might be prescribed both semaglutide and metformin. Semaglutide and metformin are both medications prescribed to help people with type 2 diabetes manage their blood sugar. However, semaglutide can also be used to help people manage their weight, especially when used in addition to healthy lifestyle changes like diet, regular exercise, and stress management. Now, metformin is also prescribed to help treat some symptoms of PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome, like insulin resistance, irregular menstrual cycles, obesity, and increased hair growth. So can I take metformin and semaglutide together for weight loss? The short answer is yes. In fact, when prescribed together, the medications both help to manage blood sugar levels. Type 2 diabetes, obesity, and PCOS have been linked to insulin resistance, a condition where the body doesn't respond appropriately to insulin, leading to high blood sugar and weight gain. Semaglutide stimulates insulin secretion from the pancreas to lower blood sugar and reduce appetite, and metformin improves insulin sensitivity. Now, there's no interaction between metformin and semaglutide, and both medications are considered safe when taken as instructed. But it's important to remember that taking semaglutide with blood sugar-lowering medications like metformin can raise the risk of low blood sugar, or what we call hypoglycemia. If you have type 2 diabetes and you've been prescribed metformin to help manage your low blood sugar, it's important to regularly check your blood sugar levels to help avoid low blood sugar. Now, your healthcare provider may also suggest that you have an emergency glucagon product or carry glucose tablets with you so you can raise your blood sugar quickly if severe low blood sugar happens. Signs of low blood sugar include feeling shaky, having a fast heartbeat, sweating, confusion, dizziness, or feeling hungry. They may also lower the dose of your metformin to decrease your risk of having low blood sugar. Although rare, low blood sugar can happen if you're taking semaglutide on its own, but this typically doesn't happen because semaglutide tells your body to release insulin in response to eating food. So what about side effects? Now, when taken together, the side effects are typically the same as those experienced when taking the medications on their own. We've discussed the common side effects of semaglutide before, but I'd like to review them once more. The common side effects of semaglutide are stomach-related, like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, or constipation, burping, and bloating, and usually occur with dose increases and go away with time. And some people also experience headache and fatigue. Now, similar to semaglutide, most people experience stomach-related effects like diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, and gas with metformin. So what about alcohol use? Now, a couple of weeks ago, we talked about how the occasional alcoholic beverage is okay with semaglutide, but it's important to remember that you may be at risk for pancreatitis and kidney problems with long-term heavy alcohol use. And this risk is higher for people who are dehydrated due to fluid loss from side effects like nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea from taking semaglutide. Now, like semaglutide, heavy alcohol use should be avoided while taking metformin as it increases the risk of developing a condition called lactic acidosis. Lactic acidosis is where there's too much lactic acid in our blood and our organs just can't function properly. This is considered actually a medical emergency, and symptoms of lactic acidosis include having trouble breathing, stomach pain, and muscle aches. Now, oddly enough, you may have heard that semaglutide can cause alcohol to be less appealing for people taking it. In other words, you may not even want to drink alcohol while taking semaglutide. This is likely because when you drink alcohol, a chemical called dopamine is released. Typically, dopamine makes you feel good, but When you take semaglutide, this glucagon-like peptide 1 medication, which is semaglutide, targets areas in the brain that block the dopamine boost. 
Thanks again for listening to the Peptide Podcast. We love having you as part of our community. And if you love this podcast, please share it with your friends and family on social media and have a happy, healthy week.